And the sit to stand transfer or the, the uh, squat pivot, I want to bring his butt a little bit forward. So what I'm going to do is I can put my hand under his ischial tuberosity. So put your hands, give me a hug first. I'm going to lean him to one side and then the other to get my hands under there. I can lock, I'm locking out his knees and I'm just going to move one butt cheek at a time. So I shift to one side and then I lift the other. I shift to the left. I pull the right. Does that make sense? I'm doing zero. He's doing zero. Just so you know. But if, if he doesn't need help, I can also give him verbal cueing to do that. I can say, just gonna sit back. I want you to push through your hands and feet and you're gonna lift one butt cheek forward at a time. Lift the, the right yeah. and then the left. Exactly. So that's one way to do it. I can also do it another way, so you sit back. I can say, push through your hands and feet and you're just gonna lift your butt up and forward to the edge of the mat. Cool. Then if you're working with a patient and you wanna work on scooting side to side on the mat, it's basically the same thing. I can say, you're gonna push through your hands and feet and you're gonna lift your tush up and over. So you're, so you're gonna push your hands and feet and you're gonna lift your butt up and over. Oh, just like that. Exactly. Okay. Some people do have trouble with scooting, so you might have to teach it sometimes. Okay. And then you're gonna bring your feet along with you, so you're gonna lift your feet up and over too. Okay. Good. You gotta work on your scooting. <laughs> okay. So, I, I showed you the way where you can lift one butt cheek at a time to get forward. Um, and then if I want to assist him, put your arms around me. I can also just, I, I, I lock him out at the knees, and then the ischial tuberosity, I rock back. No, don't come up, oh, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> don't help me at all. I just rock back, and I pull him forward. Like that. Elbow 